don't seem to like us very much and this is very typical behavior of baboons especially in areas where you haven't fed them then they tend to be a little bit more nervous of us we'll try and go forward let me quickly let me go forward and see if we can catch them again they're very clever they watch us and every time we move slightly closer it doesn't matter how sneaky you are there they are there we go once you point the camera at them they start to run away come back baboons don't leave us but they are very happy at the moment, as are all the other animals. Is that now they've got so much different types of food to eat. Not only do they have sort of flowers and nice uh, new leaves and sprigs of grass to feed on, but of course they've also got all the fruit from the marula trees. And as they sit down in the grass, you almost lose them. Look how long the grass has got. Well, actually, not a lot. A lot of it is grass, but there's also quite a few. Of these other little sort of shrubs I suppose that are growing all about and making it making it nice and long but that baboon is very busy what is it pulling out let's see it's, it's gardening no it, <laughs> it knows what's being watched it knows exactly that we're looking at it look at it. it's gone all self-conscious disappearing now no don't be afraid baboon you're beautiful now you're just going to show us your bum. That's not very nice. After I paid you that compliment. But I love the way that they sit like that in the long grass. And they've got these very, very long arms that they can sort of reach into the far distance as they sit on their bums. And pull out flowers, like I said, and grass. Even a couple of grubs every now and then. 